What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know it's Carla Lisa. Yeah, y'all already know it's your boy Sam. As y'all can already see from the title, this video is going to be mine today. Y'all already know it's going to be lit. Tell me what's going on in this video. Like, what's what, what you doing? So, I'm going to be asking you some juicy questions that girls are afraid to ask. Mm. And some of these I came up with just on my own on the top of my head. I was really trying to think. But, y'all, I did come up with another idea. I did want to get multiple guys. So, me and his sister and a couple of my girlfriends, we can actually get into asking y'all a lot more questions okay, because I, like I don't that. have a whole bunch of questions but I do have a good amount I like and that. I feel like this is a really good video to do and um, I feel like you can do a vice versa on definitely. you know oh, questions that y'all guys would like to ask females most definitely. So, <laughs> most definitely definitely stay tuned and keep watching it's gonna get juicy it's gonna get crazy and I just wanna see how he's gonna be reacting y'all I'm excited as y'all can see my mouth is getting a little dry so I do have have my tea over here so i am going Damn, to sip some that, of this that juicy needs so to be, okay <laughs> so let's just hop right into it let's go let's go Speaking of this video, we haven't been in front of the ring light and at this table in these chairs for a couple months, yo. Yes, y'all. It feels so weird. It does. It really does. <laughs> like the light is just like, bam, you right in good, my though. eyes. Like, look, whoa. Look Can't good, even though. see. Let me take another sip because I have a lot to ask. So. You, just, you, don't got, you have a lot? I mean, I don't know how many. I just started putting questions down. I was just was thinking like, oh, this and this and that and this. So. Oh, okay. Shit, I might need some food. Let's go. I'm ready for these questions. Let's I'm go. starving. Alright, so how do you feel that, like, if I was to have OnlyFans, or, like, how do you feel, like, your friends and stuff, like, as a guy, like, you would feel if your girl's having the OnlyFans? But I'm saying, like, don't just take it as sexual, but just having the OnlyFans in general. Um, For you to have OnlyFans, I mean, me as a guy, I'd be like, eh. I'm saying I can't ask you what you're going to be doing on there. <laughs> what, the, what is that? you going to be popping ah, something? Like, <laughs> what you gonna, like, can, let me just ask you that. What you getting gonna, to that break, you know what I'm saying? What, what you going to be doing on there? <laughs> no, I mean, I actually thought about having the OnlyFans a couple times, but I never thought of it like being sexual on there. Like, that's just not really me. I might throw a couple little, you know, Little bikini pics on there, but that's something that could go on Instagram. Nothing crazy. I mean, but I don't know. I'll probably just speak some real knowledge on it. I don't know. I would just have like an informative OnlyFans. I mean, but you like if I was to like do it OD. I mean, how would been, you feel if been, I did throw a couple little bangers on there? I mean, we've been together almost nine years now. It'll be nine years, uh, August 25th. That's our nine year anniversary coming up. Okay, you don't sound too to confident that. with your answer. But anyways, so my answer to that is, I mean, I wouldn't, me, I've always been, you know, cool, you know me, I'm, I'm fine with you having an OnlyFans fan, it's just, it's... So it's, you, would, it's, you, would, you would be cool with me just twerking? Yeah, it's cool, but I mean... With a little just, string between my crack. I mean, With a little I mean, string, seeing the whole thing through the back. Now see, I don't know about, about like, you can't do all that, I, that's, that's for me. That's for me to see, you know. I mean, it just depends what you're doing on there. Like, I'm saying if a I lot just of people. Had, if I had just a little, uh, what's those things called? What little, little pasties pasty? on, nah, on my little you can't, nip. You can't be doing that on there. I mean, if you're single, cool. But I'm saying <laughs> we got we got two boys. Kyle we got. Like, that's all I'm saying. You got me. Graham on there. She it'll might be, subscribe be, for the 30 a month. It would be cool if you did non-sexual things on there, but like yeah. twerking and like just regular dancing. I mean, that's cool. You can have on these fans. Twerking. So if I did left cheek, right that's cheek. That's cool with me. Yeah, cool. that's cool. Um, but you can't be all in your thong and stuff like so that. So if I was twerking with shorts on. Yeah, that's cool. Pants. Yeah, sweat get, pants. Yeah, get to the bag. Okay. How do you feel about me having male friends? Like, how do you, like, I'm saying, like, even if I wasn't your girl, like, I'm just saying, like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but just how would you feel about me having... I mean, if you weren't my you, girl, how do you, obviously I wouldn't mind. How do you feel about me having male friends? 
Well, I mean, you already have a thousand. You have you actually. I don't. You actually have more male friends than you have female friends. I yes, mean, I, but I've always that. been like that. I've always been like that. But no, it, it's not a problem to me. I mean, a lot of guys, me. I'm You've just, met a lot of them though. Like and I don't have a thousand. I have like. I'm not. I'm not speaking for every 10. guy, but I'm speaking for the guys that are like me. Like I'm the type of guy like. I'm not about to peer pressure my girlfriend or my significant other or like a girl that I'm close to to not have, not speak, not be able to speak to other guys because they're another guy, you know? Like, I'm just saying you're allowed to have guys. Peer pressure. That's not uh, peer pressure. I mean, you, you, that's just like. You know what uh, I'm talking about? Like, I'm not about to be like. Restricting. Yeah, I, I can't do that. That's like, you still have a life to live and stuff and how you want to live it, you know? I'm not about to just But say, it's to a certain extent though because you well, know yeah, if someone's feeling me some type of way, but I just automatically cut them off if someone's doing too yeah, much. Yeah, that's totally different. But, but I definitely feel it depends on how your girl reacts and how your girl acts towards you. Yes, most definitely. I mean, that's, that's, that's self-explanatory. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, Some guys, it's just X out of the picture. No. Yeah, I mean it's it's you know they, they, there's a point where it comes you know if they try to you know do something sexual or you know beyond the point or don't respect the relationship that we have then yeah then you don't need that friend but males as friend yeah you can have as many as you want. <laughs> but vice versa, I don't trust females. She don't. And, and you be trying to act a little she slick don't. sometimes, so you know what I'm Bro, saying. Bro, so you, let you me be, be real on with that, you. Let me, let me break this down right like now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a very no, you I'm a very sweet guy. So some females I'm, I'm never take rude. stuff the wrong way, and, some and they females, try to get a little, you know. It's because some females don't know me. I, I'm not. I don't mean to he'd give like, off. He'd be like, he'd be like, oh, oh, hey. I'm just a sweet guy. I mean, look at me. I'm just a sweet guy. I mean, I'm not. I'm just. I might. She thinks, I mean, it's just. Babe, you be coming off on that I'm, flirty shit. I don't like that. It might seem flirty we're to not, them. We're, gonna, we're not gonna get into. It. We're gonna save that. We gonna say that for your video. The other video. Yeah, we gonna say that for your video. I'm just a sweet guy. I like to get along with every. Female. No, but you can get along with every female, but definitely let them know. Yeah, she. Yeah. Let's just let, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> this is a little juicy one. Do nipples matter? Do nipples on a matter? Female. Like like the boob or like the the type of nipple that you have on the, the boob? nipple. The yes, nipple. The nipple. Uh, to me, the nip nips. I, I'm not judgmental about nipples, but I mean, <laughs> I don't. I'm saying like, how about if like, you know what I'm saying, you see how I look and everything, and if I was, you know what I'm saying, like yeah, my nips them was like and... not how you were expecting them to be. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of nipples in my life. I mean, I'm not, I like them all, but some be You like them all? Yeah, but some be crazy. Like crazy, so like I'm saying like, how about if one was like, mine was like this, almost the size of my boob. That's a, that's a, what's that called, a pepperoni nipple? A pancake. A pancake nipple? I mean, I, I'm not a judge. I don't know. I like every. Or if I had like a, a like a long like a, my nipple was like out like this. Like, oh, like I, it was oh like, I can't do that. You <laughs> to the point where you could poke me with your nipple. I not can't like do that. super long, but you know, like if it's like pointing out. Nah, I can't do super long. If you have a pointy nipple, if you can poke me with your nipple from like an inch away. So you like a flat. I can't nip. do that. Yeah, I like a regular, you know, a half an inch nipple that looks healthy. <laughs> it don't matter how you know. What's the so you have the areola? Nipple. Yeah, the the areola. I mean, it don't matter to me. It, you can't poke me with your nipple though. You can't. You, like if I'm right here, you can't be like, oh shit, and you touch. I can't do that. I was like, oh, okay. So, was what do you think about females and their periods, menstruals every month? I think it's a beautiful thing how. A woman can like cleanse herself. I I I'm not trying to get all sexual. But you like, be you be you be saying certain stuff like, uh, man, that's disgusting. Hold on, uh. let me get there. I, I like the fact of how they, how you say it, like refresh your your vagina or like cleanse <laughs> cleanse yourself to or like renew. New. I, I don't. Our body I don't, does it. We don't do it. I don't know the whole process. The deep examples of the men, menstrual of of having a period but I, I like the fact that how y'all have periods but the other side of the periods i can't never have sex while on period and don't touch me with the blood but other than that i mean it's cool Just i'm saying don't... so you like to see bloody pads in the in the bathroom i mean i don't like to see bloody <laughs> pads in the bathroom in the garbage but it's how about like, if i left the toilet with blood in there i mean i'll wipe it up it don't creep me out like that oh so you would touch it no i wouldn't touch it some people like to have sexual intercourse during it. 
I can't I can't do We've that. done something though. Not during. Now you're yes. really now you're really capping, dude. <laughs> you're you're lying right now. I'm not capping. We're gonna save that for another video, y'all. Yeah, on to the next question. <laughs> alright, so end the discussion with that one. So, alright. So how do you feel about girls that smoke? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Um, or just smoke in general, but definitely cigarettes highly. Um, or could you be a friend or date one that does? I cannot date one. We could be friends. I'm like dead. be around them. I could be around you. Um, I would probably, if I was your friend, I keep probably tell you every day to stop smoking. What don't you like about like if a girl smokes? I just it's just unattractive to me. Like it's just. You, you, you gotta think about it. I mean, if, if you have a problem, I mean, I got you. I respect that. But like... A problem, you mean an addiction? Addiction, whatever. I, a problem, addiction, that's the same thing. But I'm <laughs> saying, like, a cigarette is really nasty. Even Black and Miles, too. But... I smoked a couple of them before you did, too. It's... it's I mean, but I don't smoke, though. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't, don't. Yeah. But we it's don't. just... It's just unattractive and... It smells. It smells. It makes your teeth yellow. It makes your house yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, I don't find any you said great. It makes your house yellow. I, I don't find any great con that comes with smoking. Like, so how do you feel about like couples that smoke together and then uh, and then kiss? Uh, that's on them. I mean, I, res I respect you know <laughs> that they smoke. They want to do their thing, but I mean, it's not for you. It's so not you for me. Yeah. Date a girl that never, smokes. never. It's just nasty. Cigarettes. Nah. Cigarettes. No, it's just nasty. I, I couldn't even probably want to kiss you. I'll lick off nicotine off your teeth and shit. That's good. <laughs> uh. Alright, so one question I always wanted to ask, and this is just like my personal question. Okay. Okay, so what does blue balls actually look like? And what does it feel like? Like, I, is there an actual thing I mean, for blue, blue balls, balls is, or is it you, just like... It's nothing that you look at. It's, it's not blue balls. Blue balls is just like a pause and, and like when you're... However you want to call it, nutting, coming, masturbating, erection. whatever, erection, however you guys want to call it out there. But I actually never had blue balls for real. But literally, blue balls is like... How do you know? Because I never... Because they said it hurts. And it's like a... It's like you're trying to ejaculate, but like you can't at the same time. I believe so. I thought, I, it, was I, like, not, I thought it was like you stop. Yes, like, I, like sometimes I guess if you... If you come and then like you then you stop midterm. I don't know. I never had it. So you don't. I don't want to have know it. What it is. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. But so you I, don't know what it is. So how are you answering the question? I mean, that's what Kaiju. I. Kaiju. Kaiju. No. Kaiju no listen. That's what I. That's what I heard of it. So, so you heard. So you don't know. Yeah. So I don't. I can't. So it's really, not factual. Yeah. I can't really give you enough knowledge. Information. On that. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to save that question again for when the other guys are here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a good one. And see if they've ever see experienced if they, yeah. that. If they have an explanation. Or comment below if, if you comment, guys comment below if ever you have any blue egg. balls. <laughs> it's nothing to be ashamed of, right? No. Why would you be ashamed of? Oh. I mean, to have it happen, it would suck. What I mean, would, how what do would you know? be doing? How about if you like it? Uh, let's go on right. to the next question. But how does it feel to have a lot of hair between those cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> how does um, it feel to have a lot of crinkles between them? Cheeks? I mean, it actually feels good. It's, it's comfort. It's comforting. It's it doesn't you bother have, you at all. But too much, though. Let me tell you a little have story. Have you ever had too much? Let me tell you a little story. This is story a little personal time. story for real. So. I don't know, but when I was going number two before, one of the hairs got stuck in in my you know my my a hole, and uh, when I was wiping, you know when you're wiping, you know you got the poop on the toilet paper, and then I'm pretty sure if you ever every, wiped yes, your butt yes. before, you know everyone it's knows. Go so it was like the second wipe, I wiped, and then like there was a hair, <laughs> but like it was caught in the in the paper towel. You know, Did you feel it come out? Yes, yeah, because you know how you know poop is soft and moist and whatever, and it gets stuck, whatever okay, comes with it. Okay, we don't need to know that. That's Anyways, so I was wiping, and then I pulled it, and then so the you string... looked at it. 
I you didn't. The I didn't. Paper? I want to see what's going on. Like, so, so you want to see what it looks like? Yeah. So I, I, I pulled it, and then it was this long ass piece of hair that was just. It, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I just. Was it for me that got stuck in there? I don't know. But how would it get over there? But <laughs> you said you had one of my hairs between your crack before. We're not gonna talk about that. How did it get over there? <laughs> you said that before. Remember, you were like, "Babe, how did one of your hairs get between here?" And you pulled one out, and it was on my hairs. I believe so. I, I, but I don't, I don't know. But it's, it's comforting to a point. But don't. I, I like to trim and keep a trim down there. So it, it's. You trim your hole. It's comforting, but don't. Would have you to, ever like to get it waxed? No. I, Why? I trim. So you, you don't want to have do a that bald, a oh, bald hole? No, I don't want a bald hole. I think it would feel nice and smooth. I don't. You wouldn't have to worry about nothing crinkling up between. Nah, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna keep it low trim. I'm, I'm cool. All right, with that. so you like it there? Yeah, it's cool. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let us know how you guys like yours between there. <laughs> have you ever smelled me while being on my period? Like <laughs> smelled your period? Like smelled me to see like if I smelled if I stunk on my well to smell. Have you ever smelled me while being on my period to see if I smell? No, not stunk? really. Not really. I mean, when you have your period, it doesn't really stink. I mean, some people. It yeah, does. I don't know for other people. I mean, I, I'm sure that wouldn't be a correct smell or happy smell to be. Have you sniffing. ever smelled me and it wasn't? It was off. No, normal. it was just normal. No. Like, like sitting here, smelled me. Yeah, it's normal. I mean, that's what good, would you right? Do, what would you do if you did smell someone's peer? Then I want to be asking some questions. <laughs> what you mean? I think that goes for every couple. All right. Your phone died? My phone oh, just died, you guys. Gosh. We will be back in a brief moment. A few moments later. Y'all, we are back in action. If a girl could not cook, would you date her? Yeah. So what would you guys be eating? If she, if you don't, you don't know how to cook, and she doesn't know how to cook. I mean, we probably. Then what is going on? We probably be eating out majority of the time, but other than that. Wasting money, so you like to just waste. Money. Other than that, since I do know how to cook, but I don't. Cook, you don't know how to cook. I don't cook. I would have to chef something up. i Does having a butt matter? And if so, real or fake? Definitely does matter. Me as a guy. So would you date a girl without an ass? Hold on. Me as a guy, I love the ass. And that's my favorite part. Well, first comes the face and then, then comes the ass. But that's my second favorite part of a female's body. But, I mean, all booties matter. I mean, I'm not, they don't have to be too big, too. But I, I like, you know, some, if it's a some ass on that. If it's a what? A what? A pincher. A pincher? Mm, just depends. A pincher ass. If you don't know what a pincher ass is, it's like when you walk, you, the bottom of your butt cheeks be like. <laughs> do they pinch at the bottom like that? But. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. I don't want no one feeling offended. Nah, yes. Yeah, all booties matter. Everybody's right? booty is different and it's cool. But that's just what he likes to call that type of butt. And it has to be real. I'm not with the so fake. So you don't like a, if a girl was fine in the face and she had a fake butt? I mean, fake fake is cool. Yes, some are beautiful, but like I rather have real. I rather I I need it to be real, baby. I need it to be real, baby. <laughs> real. All right, y'all. So y'all heard it. He likes the real booty, and booties do matter, but all booties matter. I feel like you had some good answers, and I had some great questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was the last one. Yeah, I said I'm gonna do two more. Ask, so ask the me rest one more. Of them. Ask me one more. A juicy one. Oh, well, let's rewind it back. Would you judge a girl if she gave it up quick? That's a good one. That is a good question. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge the female. Um, You're capping. <laughs> Damn, I wouldn't judge the female, but I mean, it does tell a lot about. You know, I mean, how? It, when y'all just be wanting it quick well, like that well, yeah, too. Well, so then on, that tells a lot about y'all. Hold on, let me, let me finish. Maybe she was just, just in the moment and just wanted so, to get her part. Yeah, so it definitely... Or maybe she didn't and that's just the way she likes to do. So it definitely depends. But I'm not here to read women. I mean, I'm not here to judge either. So but. you're just here to implant? Not implant, I'm just... 
I don't know. I mean, it just depends on the moment. For Kaiju. See, these guys be out here judging. A woman can't even be sexually expressing themselves out here. You can. Guys There's nothing wrong like with to that. Judge. There's nothing wrong with that. We okay. like to sexually, you know, express yeah, ourselves too. Yeah, just implant, 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 implant. Oh, no, dad, no, dad, no, dad. Wow. I mean, I'm not like that, but I'm saying. I know you're not. I'm I, I don't. Saying. I'm not going to judge you if, you know, if you're sexually active. And I'm active blessed to a, have one that's not like that. On the first time, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not here to judge. That's it. I don't know. I feel like this, nowadays, 2021, with all this extra stuff going on, it's so, you know how many people have AIDS nowadays? Like, bro. Man. The AIDS rate has to be stupid high. Shit, STDs, stupid high here every, in Atlanta. everything, like everything, like and all the, I, and all if the little I was, diseases too. I'm well, just not saying, little diseases, all the other diseases. To be single out here has to be hard Oof. because you can't. I mean, just if you want to be sexually active, like well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just could not see myself just messing with just anybody nah, i don't care nah, how nah. you look i don't care how your body looks i don't care what you do for a living like i'm just so so like very picky with that part like that situation i just you would have to get checked literally this same day like of if not then i'm sorry all right y'all so i did have some more questions but we're gonna save those for the video when we're gonna invite some of our so friends. So what she yes, yeah, what she wanted to do for next video, we want to invite a group of men and then basically have like three or two girls like what she did. Mm -hmm. Ask me, ask us as a group questions. And we're gonna really dig season in season for those questions. Oh, bro, I'm ready. For yeah, it. that was just this was just something light. All right, y'all. So that was it for the end of everything. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how I did for my video. And make sure y'all comment below any other questions that you would like me to ask for our next video like this. I feel like this is a good video. It was. Let, let me it know. Was. Give us the video a was. thumbs up. You had some Don't juicy, forget. juicy questions in there. Yes. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and join the family, y'all. We are on the road to 10K. Let's go. Make sure y'all please, please, please help us get to 7K, y'all. We've been we fluctuating. Yeah, it's but we're working. We're Let's working. Go. We will see y'all in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Watch we it. love y'all.